that we need to continue to stand strong to defend everybody's rights and freedoms. This isn't water under the bridge. This is a rant. And I'm really getting freaking pissed off at this nonsense. It's going to be very difficult for me not to cuss through this whole freaking video right now. I just watched a, a video from Elevate uh, Podcast. Um, I kind of like what he does sometimes. Um, I also feel it's a little, I don't know. He's, he's a decent podcaster. Um, it's like, you know, I don't really have anything negative to say about it. Just sometimes it's just not my thing. Anyway, <laughs> I just watched podcast he put out. And frankly, I am getting so fucking, mm, sorry, this is going to be hard for me not to curse. I'm getting so pissed off at least. Oh, shoot. I got people behind me. Uh, let's make a right turn. This way I can go do my ramble and they don't have to listen to me ramble on. <laughs> anyway. So, our illustrious Prime Minister is out enjoying Taylor Swift. Whatever. Yeah. He begged her to come to town. She came to town. So, he went there with, I'm assuming, his daughter or whoever. Anyway kind of irrelevant my problem is it's a freaking national emergency when truckers protest our government but it's not a national emergency when we have Hamas supporters destroying cities in Canada looting smashing windows burning uh, cars trashing universities and it's getting carried away now it's not a national emergency when they call the death of Canada no no those aren't a national emergencies it's not a national emergency when synagogues are getting burnt to the ground no 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 but when truckers show up they lower the crime rate by 80% in Ottawa in the course of three weeks do not destroy businesses matter of fact encourage businesses to be open and actually try to patronize those businesses that did remain open that's a national emergency yes oh that's we gotta we gotta use the highest law in the in the books in order to deal with this but we'll let Hamas burn Montreal downtown. We'll let Hamas commandeer universities. We'll let Hamas tell Canada it needs to be destroyed. What the f I have no say in the Hamas-Israel thing. And this isn't about Israel or Ham Hamas themselves or their plight or their situation or anything. This has to do with Canada. You drag my ass into this nonsense. How the hell you think you're gonna get my support by what you're doing? I am one of the protesters against my government. As one of the truckers that went to Ottawa, you're damn right I stood up to this government and I would do it again. <clears throat> uh, maybe not, I don't know. I'm getting out of the protesting thing. But what you're doing is not protesting. What you're doing is highly illegal. And you run around with masks on so that you can't be identified. Yet our police stand by and watch it happen. They grab a microphone, megaphone, stand up in front of a huge crowd and call for the death of Canada. They burn the Canadian flag. We have no stake in this freaking game. But yet you want to drag us into it. Well, you've dragged me into it. I don't give a damn what side of your story you want to play. Frankly, I find you guys hooligans and a waste of breath. 
If you want to stand up for Hamas so bad, I hear they're looking for fighters. Go join them. Leave Canada out of there, your bullshit. I am so sick of this. And the federal government, get your fucking priorities straight. You tell me I'm a fucking terrorist, and yet you let these people burn cities? <sighs> Trash businesses? And I'm a terrorist because I stood up to you and demanded that people treat people with respect. Yeah, I'm a fucking terrorist. Fuck off! Welcome to the fringe.